Ah, Marcus Conti reporting from his little country getaway. <laughs> so the uh, New York Post is reporting today. A little fraud out in the open. You saw that? Morgan Stanley. Oh, shit. Check this out. So the other day, you remember Steve Mnuchin, um, the uh, Secretary of the Treasury under Trump, called the six largest banks in the uh, country, J.P. Morgan, uh, Morgan Stanley, Citigroup, Goldman Sachs, Wells Fargo, who else? Citigroup, the, the big six, right? Called them up and said, hey, what's going on? What's going on with the markets? Is there liquidity? Right? And the bank said, they say, yeah, everything's fine. What's, what's the problem? What's up? Right? They said, what's up? Nothing. It's nothing up. What are you guys calling us for? So, so I just want to demonstrate the, the degree of uh, fraud. Uh, the business model of these banks is and always has been fraud. It's money laundering. It's insider trading. It's consumer ripoffs where they, they're buying when you're selling and they're selling when you're buying. They're, they're, they're encouraging their customers to do the opposite of what the research shows. So that, those are some examples of it. But check this out. So just in the paper today. Right? So Morgan Stanley fined $10 million for anti-money laundering failures. What does that mean? I don't know. Let's find out. Wall Street industry funded watchdog firm the bro fined the brokerage unit Morgan Stanley $10 million on Wednesday for, com for compliance failures in the firm's anti-money laundering program, the regulators said. Right? We all want re less regulation, right? right? So they got a watchdog. Woof! Right, watchdog, they're watching Morgan Stanley. Right? You talk about, you talk about bullshit watching, you know, bullshit watchdogs. Check this out. Right? The financial industry regulator authority, they got a fancy name, FINRA, never heard of them, right? FINRA said the lapses span more than five years from January 2011 until April 2016. Okay. Morgan Stanley, which agreed to the fine as part of a settlement, did not admit or deny FINRA's charges, but consented to the entry of the regulatory findings. Oh, wow, they're nice guys, right? They didn't admit it or deny it, right? They just paid, right? They just paid $10 million for nothing, right? <laughs> for nothing? Watch. We are pleased to have resolved this matter from several years ago, Morgan Stanley said. FINRA rules require brokerage firms to have policies and procedures in place to comply with federal laws aimed at detecting and curbing money laundering. Right. Right? That's, what they, that's what it's supposed to do, right? However, a Morgan Stanley automated surveillance system did not receive important data from other Morgan Stanley systems, FINRA said. The lapse impaired the firm's overall tracking of tens of billions of dollars of wire and foreign currency transfers. Pow. They paid $10 million and they laundered tens of billions of dollars. Sounds reasonable, right? That's a good fucking business plan. You want to buy some Morgan Stanley, man, because they're, they're stealing money for you. That should be their motto. We steal for you. But really, they don't. Even the shareholders get screwed. They steal for themselves and then screw the shareholders. Hmm. In 2015, a consultant that Morgan Stanley hired to test its surveillance identified several high-risk issues, according to the settlement. Morgan Stanley did not fix one of those problems until 2016. So they basically ignored the whole, the whole allegation. Those transactions included transfers to and from countries known for money laundering risks. Right? So... So what does that tell you? Right? There's more to it. But what does that tell you? It tells you that, that the business model of Morgan Stanley is, is essentially fraud. It's money laundering. Right? There's insider trading going on. But this is a great example of the money laundering part of it. Right? Where they pay, 
right? Because they're self-regulated. They're, nobody, oh, fucking regulation. Nobody wants regulation, right? You don't want to regulate anything, right? Everybody's crying, crying up and down. You can't regulate, right? No, you regulate them and you tax them, right? You tax the high shit out of them, right? So, but that's okay. So Morgan Stanley is is okay with it. They didn't admit it or, or deny it. They paid ten million to hide tens of billions of dollars in money laundering transfers to foreign countries, right? And these are the banks that we rely on. These are the banks that the American people put their trust in, that they put their life savings with, right? That are sinking the economy, right? The 1%, right? That's who's running the show, right? The bad guys are running the show. Know thy swamp. Know thy swamp. The swamp is the banks. The swamp is not the little swamp creatures running around, CIA, FBI, NSA. Those guys are paid, paid trolls. The banks are running the show, and the banks are stealing the money, right? To the tune of tens of billions of dollars. That's just one example that they got caught. That's just one example without consequence. See, they break the law right out in the open now. It's all out in the open. See, that's the new policy, right? Because if we break the law out in the open and we have our bullshit little regulatory agency cover our tracks, then there's nothing, there's nothing to see here. It ends there, right? That's the, new, that's the new 1% operating modus operandi. Break the law right out in the public. Right out where everybody could see it. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.